two days after the the situation took place. This before J. Cole apologized, matter of fact. I got a call, I won't say from who, I got a call from a, a certain rapper. It's like a lyri a lyricist too, like a, a lyricist, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure y'all know him if I said his name. A thousand percent y'all know him, right? And uh and he I got a text from him. He shot me a text. He's like, yo, he like hit me, you gonna like this. He like hit me, you gonna like this. I called him, I'm like, what up? He like, he like, what's up with it? How you feeling? I'm good, what's up with it? He like, you wanna go up? How you feeling? You wanna go up? I'm like, what's up? Talk to me. He say, uh, man, all the the back and forth between uh uh, J. Cole and Kendra got me fired up. Bruh, I feel like we should diss each other. Mm. You know, we cool behind closed doors. Dang. We should diss each other. That just, go. You know what I'm saying? We cool. We know we cool. Whoop, but bruh, I just feel like it'll just go crazy and, and yada, yada, yada. And I told him, I kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Responding like the same way I, just, I, I told him, I'm like, look, I'm like, I, I know for a fact what that'll do, right? But I'm like, at the same time, it ain't, it's a little more personal with me. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't even. I'm I wouldn't not about get you to say going. certain things about you if I don't really feel a certain way about you. You get what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. And I told him, I said, that's out of respect for you. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, cause it's, you know, it can go, it can go either which way. Like with me, like I'm a, you know, you, said like, you don't really want the smoke. It wasn't even that what I was telling him, even though I feel like don't nobody want that. And see, this beating made this me. I'm playing here. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, like it ain't, and it definitely wasn't like on no rap. They just did like. To me, like dissing somebody is like, and that's why, I, like, immediately when you like you, you get into the rap, be whoop, whoop, I'm like, nah, not me, because, like, I can't see, I can't see you, a, a person, a person, like, finding every which way to the, you get what I'm saying? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nasho, and welcome to Coolin' TV. Now, it seems like a lot of these rappers, man, in the industry, they just have been sitting back and watching the benefits of World War III, all right? You got Drake as Thanos, Kendrick Lamar, Future Metro, Boomer, everybody, you know, Kanye even into the goddamn beef. So it's like World War III with these rappers, and people want to get some benefits of the war, too. So the baby went on Shaq's podcast, the big podcast, and he made a statement that, shit, somebody want to beef with him, all right? They want to start a fake beef. He didn't want to name him, but I ain't even gonna lie. A lot of people saying that the rapper the baby talking about right here is Jonah Lucas. All right, that's not a fact. That's not confirmed. I'm just letting y'all know what majority of people saying online. Now the baby handled this pretty good. You know, he said he ain't trying to have no fake feelings towards nobody, which I could totally understand. And first of all, who the hell wanna beef with the baby, knowing this nigga really be shooting niggas? All right, so that's the wrong person to try to beef with. And you know, a fake beef can turn into a real beef. You know, y'all let me know in the comments who the hell y'all think this rapper was that called the baby saying they want to start a fake beef. Majority of people saying Jonah Lucas, all right? So he said the rapper is a lyricist and we all know him 100%. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. It maybe could be Jonah Lucas. If you think about it, you know, he probably be itching for a little come up, a little mainstream shine. Like Jonah Lucas, you know, he doing his thing, but he ain't in that mainstream like that. So y'all just gotta you know put two and two together like the baby kind of narrowed it down for everybody to try to figure it out so you know the internet detectives gonna go down the whole damn list of rappers and try to figure out who the hell the baby got this call from but i think the baby handled that well man he ain't trying to do none of that and if the baby wants to man he can really go up by his damn self and he ain't got to start no beat you know the baby got the talent he just gotta you know not go down that little baby route with doing that same flow doing the same beats you don't want fans talking Talking about nigga you you making the same song 20 times all right we hear that enough with little baby i think the baby can go back up you know and make some number ones like he used to shit all right i don't think he need to start no fake beef and that just tells you uh, how much of these beefs are probably is fake for all we know nigga drake and kendrick lamar beef could be fucking fake the industry just be trying to think of stuff now just to make a quick buck at this point man we don't know what's real what's fake all right but y'all let me know man let me know in the comment box down below who the rapper y'all think the baby got the call from was it jonah lucas was it little baby name some more man who y'all think is a lyricist and would call the baby to start a fake beef just to get some goddamn money so y'all let me know in the comment box down below remember to like this video subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at official nash show make sure you got these notifications turned on and i'm gonna catch you in that next video peace out